Welcome to Buckeyes Tomorrow Morning for Friday, April 19th. I'm your host, Tom Moore. The Akron game in 134 days, the game against Michigan in 225 days. On yesterday's show, you got to hear from new Ohio State offensive coordinator Chip Kelly. Today, we're going to flip to the defensive side of the ball, let you hear a little bit from Ohio State defensive coordinator Jim Knowles. Knowles obviously in a little bit of a different position this spring than Kelly, having been around now. This is his three, third season with the Buckeyes. Kelly, obviously, he's only been about, around for about three months or so. So Knowles has a little bit of a different perspective. And Knowles got asked some very different questions than what Chip Kelly did. Chip Kelly got a lot of big picture stuff. Jim Knowles got a bunch of kind of nitty gritty stuff, taking a little bit of a look, focusing a lot, actually, on some of the younger Buckeyes, some of the guys who are going to be providing depth and who are going to be potentially starters in future seasons. So we're going to be talking a bunch about some of the younger players and less experienced players on the defensive side of the ball today. Let's start with a guy who just made, transferred from Ole Miss last season. No, not Davis Nygmanosin, not Quinshawn Judkins. It's Taiwan Malone, defensive tackle. He played a little sparingly last year, but seems like he is on track to play more this year after a very solid spring. He's developed for sure. You know, um, wasn't quite ready last year for uh, a lot of reps, but he's shown marked improvement. So. You know, long season. We play a lot of guys up front. Um, we really need him to come to come along, and uh, he showed flashes of that. Injuries, of course, are never good news for a football team, but they can present an opportunity for some of the younger guys on the team to get more playing time and show what they can do. At safety this spring, injuries to Malik Hartford and Jahad Carter, and the kind of recovery from an injury from Lathan Ransom opened up opportunities for guys like Jaden Bonsu and Jalen McLean and other young safeties. So. What did Jim Knowles see from those younger guys? Yeah, every situation like that gives somebody an opportunity. We were, our depth was really down at uh, safety this spring. So, because you had Lathan, you had um, Jihad, you had um, Malik, and then Lorenzo. So, it opened up opportunities. And um, Bonsu is a guy who really got a lot of reps. And you saw him improve. And then um, McLean, I think, is a, is, a, is a great plus. I mean, he is a guy that has football intelligence. He's picked it up. Uh, you know, he's kind of of those incoming freshmen who still should be in high school. He's a guy I think you're going to point to, and you can see right now he's going to be a player. Someone who is definitely not one of the younger guys, who, but who has also not played a whole heck of a lot over the course of his career, is Mitchell Melton. This time two years ago, Melton was viewed as someone who had really had a great spring, then suffered a season-ending knee injury in the spring game, missed the entire 2022 season. He was kind of coming back from that last year, did not play a whole heck of a lot. He is finally healthy now and getting a chance to show what he can really do. You know, Mitch is that combination player. You know, in, um, in our four down, um, you know, he's a guy that can – do a lot of things, uh, drop, fold in there, make plays. You, you see some of that all the time. Really athletic, um, you know, we're kind of loaded at that end position. So he's going to play there. But, you know, like I said last year, we, we haven't needed it. But he's a guy you would point to along with C.J. Hicks, you know, for the, for the long season. Um, People get injured. You get a little light inside. It's always hard on the defensive tackles. But if you're going to play with uh, three ends, you know, that Mitch is a guy who, who definitely can do all that. He has that. There were several years when Ohio State fans thought their team might not ever get off the field while they were on defense. That has definitely not been the case since Jim Knowles arrived. The Buckeyes have really buckled down and been very impressive on defense over the last couple of years. That was true again during the spring game on Saturday. The defense dominated long stretches of that spring game, especially in the first half when the starters were playing more. Yeah, I think it's become, um, you know, an expectation now. Um, you know, our DBs, you know, our BIA, Best in America, we led the country in pass defense, right? I think uh, it was 96 when I, uh, when I got here, and it was number one last year or so. They've, they've taken that spirit. So it's a competitive spirit. It's an expectation now. It, it doesn't matter who we're going against. It's, it's, they, they view it as a standard. So that was good to see in the first, first half. Depth has been a major topic of conversation pretty much every spot around the field all spring long. 
And the Buckeyes have a ton of depth at the defensive tackle spot. So how does that depth at DT change what the Buckeyes can do this year? You're going to play to your strengths, you know, and uh, that's that's my job is, is to what do we have and what do we do best. And when you have defensive tackles, who, and I've said it before, it, it helped our defense so much last year. When you have defensive tackles that actually make tackles, which is what we have right now, it changes the way you call a game. You know, it certainly helps you be um, – in better shape on explosive plays on the back end. You, you, you don't have to do a whole lot to help those guys out because they're making tackles. So you got to go. You got to go with that. You know, you got you got to let those guys play and 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 they're good. So um, you can't get too far away from the scheme of having those defensive tackles make plays because they're doing it and it works. Here was a good one from our buddy Tony Gerderman of BuckeyeHuddle.com. He asked Jim Knowles, you know, hey, you've seen more quarterback run this spring, so. How much does that impact your preparation when you're facing a team that does that this fall? How much does that change your prep during the week when you have to face a team that's going to be doing some of the stuff that the Buckeyes are planning to do this fall? Yeah, it's a ton. You know, it. I think it changes everything you do on defense. Um, you see it everywhere from the NFL on down. If you have a quarterback who can make plays with his feet, your scheme better be designed that you know to to take that away and to account for it so it changes the way you look at everything when you're game planning one of the big stories all spring long was the play of the ohio state wide receivers that's nothing new the buckeyes have had standout wide receivers for years and years now but there was quite a bit of hype around jeremiah smith and some of the other buckeye receivers it felt a little bit like the ohio state corners might have taken some of that talk a little personally when it came to the spring game how it showed up on the field on Saturday. Yeah, when you can, when you have corners that you can count on, again, it's just like having defensive tackles in the run game. When you have corners you can count on that are going to compete all the time, no matter what the situation is, and we've developed that, again, it changes the way you call the entire game. I mean, you, you're able to leave those guys on an island. Um, you're able to switch up coverages and – they know what they're doing, and they take great pride in it. So um, having those guys out there in the development, it's a big deal. It really is. That Ohio State cornerback room is pretty darn talented. Denzel Burke, David McNichols, Jermaine Matthews. But the fourth guy in that corner room, not even including the, the Nichols, the fourth guy in that corner room in the outside corners, Alvin Simpson Hunt, he seemed to make a big move this spring after coming in late. He missed last spring, came in last summer, so came in late last year. Seem to make a big move this spring. He did come in late, and you know, um, he compete. He's one of those guys that just competes every day. Doesn't say much. You know, he's trying to live up to the standard of the other guys, and you you see him coming along. You know, you see him step by step coming along, and and you know, put him in a you know competitive atmosphere. See him step up. That's a great sign. And finally, one of the players we get asked about the most, linebacker C.J. Hicks. He had a big spring as well. This was, you know, his big opportunity to maybe show, okay, that it is his time. Tommy Eichenberg's deal chambers are gone. It is time to put C.J. Hicks on the field more. So did he, did C.J. Hicks show Jim Knowles what he needed to see this spring? I think C.J. has shown that uh, he has talent, and uh, I think it's my job to – put him in the best situations for him because he can be a force. Um, you know, he's much better when he's blitzing or he's directed because he's able to use his athletic ability. But he has certainly shown that he's going to be able to help this defense. With spring ball now officially in the rearview mirror, we are shifting to our off-season schedule here on Buckeyes Tomorrow Morning. We're going, we go from seven days a week to five days a week after spring ball. Don't worry, we'll be back to seven days a week soon. As soon as the season starts ramping up, that's usually around Big Ten media days, mid to late July, give or take, maybe fall camp. Somewhere around there, we tend to ramp back up to a seven-day-a-week show. But here's the thing. Plans, they're all great. There tends to be breaking news. If there's transfer portal news, if there's any kind of different news involving the Ohio State football or basketball programs, we'll probably be back with a breaking news show over the weekend for you. So tentatively plan on seeing you on Monday. But realistically, I'll probably talk to you sometime over the weekend. Whenever that happens, we will see you then.
Thank you all for joining us.